I'm sitting in the van and I want to show off what I've done with uh, the kitchen part of the build so far. It's been a while since I've posted a van life video. Basically the kitchen part of the build has been going slow but good. Try to do something, well at least for a while there. I was trying to come out and do a little bit every day with it. Um, but I built it all myself without knowing really what I was doing. Just trying to connect pieces of woods, wood with screws and build walls and putting hinges on and latches and so forth. So, uh, anyway, enough of me talking. Let me show you what I've done so far. So, this is the countertop. Uh, this is the most recent piece. I just bought this the other day and had to make some little special cuts for the indention right there. Cut a little bit off the end. I'm probably going to cut a little bit more off of this end right here. Uh, this is not attached right now. This is just sitting here. Uh, basically just wanted to see how it was going to fit. And uh, because there will be a sink somewhere over here I do believe. And uh, a stove somewhere right around here. Because as you can see I've got this little compartment underneath which I think would be a great spot to put a propane tank which would uh, give me the space up here to put the stove so that space will have to be cut out as well plus I gotta find out what kind of stove I want now there is no door right here in this area uh, basically uh, with this space being this wide this long um, I just couldn't figure out a good way to make a door uh, that would because if I made it to open up this way it's it's gonna hit here um, and so if I made it to come down it's gonna it's not gonna be able to come down all the way I can't make it go up because then it's barely gonna come up it's gonna hit here um, now I mean it could work when this section is set up as a table um, but otherwise um, it just wouldn't work for when this is down as part of the bed. Now I thought about putting a mi middle piece just right here in the front so that I could have some little doors open up um, and have a latch on either side of that middle piece for the doors to uh, close and, and hold securely. With that, and if there is a propane tank going right here, I would not be able to take the propane tank out uh, to refill it um, with a middle piece being right here. So, as of right now, um, it's just going to be uh, like this. Alright, so our cabinets right here, put these little, little latches on and I can pull this and it comes down and we have the latches on the sides here we have our hinges right here inside we have some speaker box carpet and some anti-slip uh, fabric down uh, with the thought being that this will probably store food um, and so didn't want anything slipping and sliding around in here And the same thing down here. Oh, can bring that down. Got our latches, speaker box carpet down here. Our hinges and folds right back up. Goes into place. Same thing here. store some food and everything down in there or just whatever we need clean supplies pots and pans just whatever who knows at this point close it back up that goes down and then our final uh, cabinet over here that opens up that way got our latch right there 
hinges, speaker box carpet down the floor. And this is where I believe I'm gonna have uh, the plumbing. So the water tank in there with our plumbing and our sink above right up here. And so uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I gotta measure it out and see the size I want and so forth. Now the duct tape is just to cover up where um, some screws were starting to come through the wood um, So I wanted to cover those up and the idea was to put speaker box carpet on the outside um, Which I did on the back you can see the carpet kind of coming out right in there uh, from the back and on the bottom of the cabinets um, I didn't want any nails uh, the head of the nail um, pressing on the floor, uh, possibly scratching it up, uh, especially when I was doing this whole build and having to take the cabinets in and out of the van. Uh, as things were being built, it got heavier and more uh, complicated to move around. So the speaker box carpet is on the bottom and it's also sitting on anti-slip floor mat material because, well, I just, I didn't want to secure the cabinet down to the floor just yet and then possibly mess up my floor. So uh, this is really just sitting on anti-slip uh, floor mat material and then the speaker box carpet underneath it. So I've been driving the van around uh, to work and to the gym and just around town and so forth. Um, the anti-slip floor mat material is working out really well. It's not moving around at all. Um, of course, I do drive very carefully. Um, you know, it is a large, pretty large van actually. And I've, this is the first large vehicle that I've owned. With that, uh, we're pretty much done here. Um, so thanks for watching this video. If you haven't then uh, you should subscribe because I need all the supporters subscribers that I can get I appreciate every single one of you uh, give me a like if you like what I'm doing you're into van life and or you're doing it yourself or just yeah just any any of the above and anything else that you like about it so all right stay awesome go vegan till next time